I see you over there clicking on this video. Are you a fellow granola? If so, very nice to meet you if we've never met before, and nice to see you again if we have. My name is Gabby, and I would say the main aesthetic that I go to most of the time is the granola aesthetic. Is it the comfort and practicality, the colors that it comes in, the kind of people that it attracts? I don't know. Probably all three. I just like the vibe. So today we're gonna go through some things that I think are quintessentially granola, and some things that I own that I think kind of give away that I am indeed a granola girly. And for today's video, I want you to keep track of how many of these things you also own. And by the end of the video, we'll see how many granola points you have. Let's start with tops. If you own and wear any kind of fleece, like this one from Colombia, or this one from the North Face, or maybe even this one by Northern Reflections, give yourself a granola point, especially if you thrifted them or got them secondhand. Also, if you own any kind of like micro puff-esque jacket, like this down-filled one from Lulu, or some kind of raincoat, like this one from Columbia, and you wear it on normal occasions, just like as a regular coat, not when it's raining, not when it's cold, you deserve another point. Because not only do you have the jackets for the cute granola aesthetic, you have the jackets for the practical granola aesthetic too. Now, if you own any like knitted wool jackets, like this lovely one here, or this one here, that's another granola point for you. Now in terms of sweaters, there are a couple different things that I need to mention. I mean, first of all, if basically all your sweaters are thrifted, you're probably kind of granola. But if your sweaters are thrifted and are the following, then you can grab some more granola points. If you own any of these kind of sweaters that they basically always sell in smoke shops, then add yourself a granola point. Or sweaters that have any kind of animals or national parks or anything nature related, you got it. Another point. Any sweaters by the brand Northern Reflection, like this one, another point. Or Wind River, like this one here. Basically, if you have thrifted or old ratty tatty sweaters that have some kind of outdoorsy brand or some kind of outdoorsy thing on them, then you, my friend, are a granola. Also, I forgot to mention camp shirts, flannels, add a granola point. Now when it comes to t-shirts and stuff, the same rules kind of apply to them as the sweaters. If you have a t-shirt like this, that's a t-shirt for a national park, or a t-shirt like this with a little granola looking brand on it. And if you don't have a t-shirt from the brand, The Mountain, are you even a granola? And again, if you have t-shirts that have any kind of outdoorsy brands on them, that counts. Next, let's do pants. Any kind of ratty tatty old pants or ratty tatty jeans, like these, add a granola point. Hiking pants like these, especially if they zip off, sexy. You already know to add another point. And these might kind of be Canadian specific, but if you have root sweatpants like these, with the root on the bum, I would also consider that granola. And of course, leggings, joggers, splash pants, whatever, but I kind of figured that other people could wear those and not necessarily look super granola, so I'm not gonna include those. But they can still count. Now let's move on to accessories. In my opinion, bags like these are pretty granola, but they're more like cute granola, you know, not practical granola. Practical granola would wear something like this, a belt bag. If the backpack you use day to day is a hiking backpack, add a granola point. This is so stupid, I literally have carabiners and crampons on this backpack, so uh... It's no wonder that someone once asked me when I walk into class, oh, are you going camping later? No, I just look like that. That's literally a true story too. I'm not even making that up. <laughs> Thrifted vintage hats to things or places that you've never gone to. Granola. And I almost didn't add this one because I don't think that Nike is very granola, but I think the bucket hats that make it look like you're going fishing are a little bit granola. So bucket hats, add that to the list. Also earthy jewelry with like wooden beads or gemstones, very granola. If the socks that you wear on a day-to-day -day basis are hiking socks, you can add a point. Especially if you wear them with these, 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 or these. I almost forgot toques, or I guess beanies if you live anywhere other than Canada. <laughs> and even though this isn't really clothing, if you carry around a water bottle as an accessory, like a Nalgene, a Yeti, or a Hydro Flask, I know, it's a bit excessive. Then you might just be a granola. Also, I'm absolutely sure that I missed some things. There's obviously stuff that I don't own that are very granola. So leave me a comment on what comes to mind when you think of a granola. What kind of things are they wearing? What do they own? And what did I miss in this video? And if you kept track of your granola score, leave that for me in the comments too. 
Thanks for coming to today's video. If you want to be friends and haven't already, feel free to subscribe. Hope you're all taking care of yourselves and doing well. I will see you in the next one.